All right, now, I'm not doing 2020 hindsight when it comes to, okay, Sunny should be out the Hall of Fame because all the shit she's been doing for the past couple years. No, I ain't saying that. I'm like, hey, if she's if she is in the Hall of Fame, I say keep her in there, right? Why should you take her out? It's like she obviously earned her spot. I mean, by that logic, we should take away tons of guys from the from the Pro Football Hall of Fame who have done bad shit. I mean, look at uh, fucking Lawrence Taylor. He has done bad shit since his Hall of Fame induction. So you can't really do that shit, man. That's not how sports work. You can't take out somebody out the Hall of Fame because they've been doing dumb shit for the past couple years. Like, bruh, they are retired. That's their life post re post retirement. So let them be. But I'm talking about why was Sonny inducted into the Hall of Fame in the first place? Dude, I've been watching wrestling since like 1992. So I know of her. I watched her. I, I didn't see her as a Hall of Famer. Like, why is she in the fucking Hall of Fame? Once again, this has nothing to do with what she's been doing for the past couple of years. I'm, I'm going based on, bruh. What the fuck did she do in the 90s that was a trailblazer for women? How is she a trailblazer? Why is she in Hall of Fame? Dude, people keep saying, oh, she was hot. She was the most downloaded woman on the internet. I'm like, bruh, back in the 90s, that's the equivalent of being the nicest guy in prison. That's the equivalent of being the best basketball player on your prison basketball team. That's the same thing as being the best football player on your prison football team, bro. That's a very low bar based on that was like the Stone Ages of their net, bro. That was the Stone Ages. And it was, a, it was a different time back then when it came to women wrestling and women in wrestling. It was a totally different time, man. Women were not being pushed like that as sex objects. They weren't being pushed like that as sex symbols back in that era when it, when, it, when, it came, when it came to wrestling dude I think wasn't Sunny the only female on that roster bro she was the only female on the roster back in what back in the mid back in the mid 90s I think I think she was like the only legit female manager who had a name right so the bar was set low it's like um, yeah, that's that's exactly what I said. She was the nicest girl in prison. She was the only chick there that was that that had a look. Because back then there was no Sable yet. I don't think there was no Sable. Um, there was no Terry Runnels yet. So her prime, her heyday, she was the only decent looking female on the roster. Because Dude, that roster was, was filled with was filled with dudes. Dude, that was a reason why tons of guys were trying to get at her in that era. Because, dude, she was the only female on the fucking roster. But like, dude, I don't I don't remember any other females that were managers besides her. I think was she? Dog, I think she was the only one. I don't. I'm trying to I'm trying to remember. When it comes to the WWF New Generation era, I'm trying to figure out what other females did they have to compete with her. Right? So, why is she in a fucking Hall of Fame? The fact that, dude, who did she manage? Really? Who did she manage who became a superstar? Who, who, who became a fucking world champion? I thought when you were a manager, I thought when you were a manager, you get to Hall of Fame based on how great your resume is when it came to the people that you represented. The Body Donnas, Chris Candido, Farouk when he was dressed up as a fucking gladiator. Um, the fucking the fucking Road Warriors when they were just past their prime. You see where I'm going with this? Who did she manage? Dude, nobody gave a flying fuck about Sonny. They only cared about her body because there was no other people on the roster who looked like her. Dude, if you if you went back in time and you plugged in a prime Sonny 
and you put her on the AEW roster, or you put her in or shit, put her in fucking NXT. Dude, we wouldn't give a flying fuck about her. Dude, do you know how many hot chicks in AW that are way hotter than than, than uh, Sunny? Do you know how many hot chicks in the WWE who are way better than Sunny? You see where I'm going with this? She was in a small look. She was a big fish in a tiny, tiny pond because she was the only fish in 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 that fucking pond. So what's the big deal about her? Why is she in a fucking Hall of Fame, dude? Like, bruh. I don't think Slick is it is it all fame. I'm trying to figure out is Miss Elizabeth in the Hall of Fame. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Like bro, I'm trying to like, bro, like what's what, what's going on here? There's like tons of females, tons of managers who are more deserving of being in the fucking Hall of Fame. Um, fucking um, Victoria, great wrestler. She should be in the fucking Hall of Fame over Sunny Sable. Dude, Sable had a bigger impact. This Sunny, how come she in the fucking Hall of Fame? Why did it take China so long to get into the fucking Hall of Fame? Right? I'm trying to feel like, bro, Sunny has been out the business what the past 25 plus years, I think. Let that sink in. She's been out the business for the past 20 something fucking years. She was a flash in the pan. She look. She didn't even have a long run in the '90s. It's like she was back and forth from ECW to the WWF. Bro, Razor Ramon said the body donnas were were trash. He said that name was stupid. They were never gonna get over. <laughs> so I'm trying to figure out. What is her resume on getting to a Hall of Fame? She did manage any future world champions. So what the fuck did she do? Besides manage tag teams that were either past their prime or they were just jobbers. The body donors were, were, were jobbers. Literally. They were jobbers. Um... What's the dude's name? Um, I think his name is Tom Tom Pritchard. Dude, Tom Pritchard was was a fucking jobber. He was meant to be a jobber. So what did who did she elevate? See, that's the um, that's the goal of a, of a fucking manager. Who did she elevate? Nobody. Paul Heyman. He elevates people. Who did she fucking elevate? I'm like, bro. I'm trying to figure this out. Why? Miss Elizabeth should be in the fucking Hall of Fame. I don't know if she, I don't know if she is in there or not, but she should be. She had a way better resume, man. She was with the Mega Powers, Savage. She she has a fucking resume. She managed champions, Hallers, world champions, polarizing figures that she put that she put over. Sunny, what did she do? Bro, they was there broke up the Bay Donnas. Then once they broke up her with uh, the Road Warriors, what was she good for? What backstage fucking interviews? Huh? Backstage interview? That's what she was doing. What was she on a uh, live wire or some shit? Some fucking throwaway show on uh, Saturdays? Dude, the WWE didn't know what to fucking do with her. They, they was like, okay, well, she's hot, so I guess put her on something. Let, let this investment pay off. Let's put on TV doing something, right? Because she was useless. Useless, man. I'm trying to figure this out. Like, what's like, what's going on here, man? Who did she manage that were that was great? Like, I don't get like, bro. Her career will forever be known for. Almost breaking up the marriage of Bret Hart, smashing Shawn Michaels, and always cheating on Chris Candido. That's what she's known for. So why is she in the fuck Hall of Fame? So most downloaded woman on the internet, bruh. 
what other women were there that was on a roster, let, let alone getting that kind of push where they were pushed as a sex option. See, back then, that was new, that was that was fresh. Because, once again, she was a big fish in a small pod. There was no divas, remember? Remember, there was no divas. Yeah, she was one of the first divas. Dude, there was no divas back then. Well, Lona, Lona was a wrestler. She was, Lona was no diva, she was a wrestler. But so other than that, dude, Sunny didn't wrestle, um, I mean, she wasn't a great, she wasn't, a, she wasn't like a great talker. So I'm trying to figure out, bro, if she was in this era where she would be a nobody, if she was in her prime in, in this era, she would be a nobody, man. She'll be a flash in the fucking pan. Liv Morgan, she's hotter. Uh, Miss Lyons, she's hotter. Uh, what's the name? Tiffany Shaddis, or whatever her name is, she's hotter. Um... Jay Cargill, she's better looking. Jamie Hayter, way better looking. Tony Storm, way better looking. It's like I'm trying to figure this out. Like, Chelsea Blackheart, way better looking. You see what I'm saying? She will be buried in this era. So why is she in the Hall of Fame? She was in a, she's a, she was a big fish in a small, tiny fucking pod. Her career will be known as the slut that was sleeping around backstage with big names like Shawn Michaels, Bret Hart. And doing Chris Candido wrong. That's what she's known for. Other than that, I don't know why she's in the fucking Hall of Fame. I don't get it. I mean, she was no fucking trailblazer, man. Sable was a fucking trailblazer. She paved the way for future sex symbols like a like a Troy Wilson, um, Keebler, girls like that. But Sonny, like what? The most downloaded bitch on the internet. Like wow, that's that's like being the hottest woman during the uh, caveman days. <laughs> like really, that's your bar, bitch. You was the hottest girl during the during the fucking stone ages, where girls like you were a ten, but you wasn't really a ten because you was the only girl on the roster really who had who who had that spot. So the ratio was what. 98 percent of men she was like what one percent <laughs> of the whole roster when it came to the female demographic that's your that's your bar on uh, putting her in a fun hall of fame like why man she's more known for her controversy more so than her resume dude she, what i remember this bitch said she don't date black guys right she ain't into them Bro, did you know she fucked Ahmed Johnson? <laughs> she fucked Ahmed Johnson for drugs. See, back then Ahmed was on drugs. Is in um in, in um in um so is she, right? So she fucked Ahmed Johnson to score some drugs. That's the source that told me that. I got a high credible source that told me that what Ahmed Johnson said about Sunday, that was true. She did fuck him for drugs. So, once again, she's a, she's a, she, her ass is a fucking liar too. She lies. Um, she has no talent. Besides being a decent looking woman in a weak era when it came to women, a weak era to the point where bro, they got rid of the women's title. That's how weak that era was in her in her prime. So why is she in a fucking Hall of Fame? I don't get it. She don't she don't her ass don't deserve it, really. What she had no Hall of Fame resume. I'm I'm still shocked every day. I'm like, why is this bitch in the fucking Hall of Fame in the first place? Like, huh? She's been out the game for 20-something years, and the fact that she didn't even wrestle me. She didn't even last in the fucking attitude era. So in hindsight, she had a short career. Short career, bro. I'm like, what the fuck's going on? <laughs> like, huh? She had a short career. I'm like, what the fuck's going on? Like, why is she in the fucking Hall of Fame? 
I barely saw her in a fucking Azure era. So, what? Her prime was what? 95, 96? 97, maybe? Like, huh? What's the fuck? That gets you, that gets you in the fuck off thing having a four year, three year career in the WWE. That's bullshit. Now, I'm not saying take her out of the Hall of Fame because of what she's been doing for the past couple years. No, I'm saying, why is she there in the first place? She had no resume to go on. There's tons of people who are not in the Hall of Fame that had a better resume. Why is she there? I'm, 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 I'm done.